for the best experience, please play with sound. Up and down. In. Hello everyone, your Gibbs is here, and we're gonna sample Hidden Expedition The Golden Secret. Anyone guess in the chat? I should probably turn the chat on. Anyone in the chat guess which number in the series this one is? I'll give you a hint, it's over 10, alright? Want the chat to shout that out? We of course are live for the beautiful people on Twitch and on YouTube, in theory. Liam, wow, look at that. Liam has got the Google at his fingertips. 16, 15, 14, 18. <laughs> it is definitely number 16 in the series, which blows my mind. Anyways, uh, I think it's time for us to go ahead and hit that uh, good old play button here, once I find it. This is it. Golden secret, let's go. We've got ourselves easy, a medium, hard, and custom. Lots of great ways to tweak your games to your game style. Let's go ahead and hop right in. Loading scientific trivia. <laughs> yeah, now, you know, Epix Entertainment, they have kind of a formula, right? And, oh, little badger guy touched the loading bar. And my gut feeling is that I've kind of gotten a little bit of fatigue, just finding the games a bit formulaic. But I have to say, I've always had a soft spot for the Hidden Expedition series. I like the fact cards and the edutainment aspect of it. But anyways, uh, this little guy is interesting. Hi. Let's go. Oh, slurp that coffee cup. <laughs> Burr. Agent, we require your immediate attention. Report for duty at the Geneva Auction House, ASAP. Incoming call, H-E-L-P, H-Q. Look at the, like, the dust particles floating around. Now, one thing I have to say is that Epix has always had a fantastic art style to their games. Very slick. I like that, for sure. Hello, Agent. Your mission is to purchase an artifact called the Golden Wheel. You shouldn't have any problems. We're giving you access to unlimited fun. Ooh, let's go shopping! Oh yeah, I guess we have to go buy a golden wheel. whip de doo da Dr. Layla Perkins will meet you there. She's our antiques expert. She'll tell you more. Good luck. Yeah, seriously, we had to give up that nice cup of tea or coffee or whatever it was to go shopping for a golden wheel? Alright. Uh, hmm, no tutorial. Full tutorial, definitely not. And special features, sure. You know what? I think unlimited funds are the best kind of funds. You know what I mean? Hi, I'm Layla Perkins. I'm sorry you got called in last minute, but it's a pleasure to work with you. Apparently, this artifact has something to do with when help was founded. It's plain looking, so I doubt we'll have much competition for it. HQ sent you a file with the details. Now, let's get you signed in. 
Let's get us signed in. We apparently have white gloves on. You've collected a plus item. Plus items can be examined further and even combined with other items in your inventory. I was just going to say that we should probably check out our collectibles here. So bear with me. I'm going to open up the guide. And uh, we'll go into the collectibles. Morphing objects are marked in blue and signs are in green. So we have morphing objects and signs. So there you go, folks. That is the challenge for you folks that are playing along. If you do spot any of those collectibles, do indeed shout them out. Let's have a look here. Sam jokes like my father. Well, I have everything I need to wrap this up. Agent, here's a photo of the artifact, a credit card, and the car keys. The car's in the parking lot. Don't go crazy with the credit card. <laughs> uh, why not? Ooh, look at that fancy platinum credit card or whatever. Man, that's pretty. The compasses is morphing. The who and the what? Yeah, compasses and morphs. That's right. Look at the security cameras up top here. She is waiting for me to sign. Good evening, ma'am. Please place your index finger on the scanner and sign here. Thank you. Ooh, nice nails. Signing our name. Everything seems to be in order. Before you proceed, I'd like to brief you on the history of our institution and our basic auctioneering rules. Of course. Ooh, and we're already into some uh, glitter. Let's hop in here. Geneva Hi Auction there. House has been around since 1852. However, we moved into this building in 2008. Okay. Hmm. 1852. 1852. Boom. That is correct. There are lots of goodies in here. I think they're... I'm trying to remember if there's morphing objects. Yes, yes, yes. So Epix does have the morphing objects in the scenes. So feel free to shout them out. Staplers of Morph. Thank you. Beautiful. See, that's how we work together. Thank you, chat. Noise, noise. I kind of like the fact that she's got four monitors. Uh, hello? I don't know even... I'm like... Okay, so I've got two, and then I'm like... Okay, another two up here? Above the other two? That's some craziness right there. Oh, I guess they're like video cameras. Uh... What am I looking for? There we go. Our rules are rather simple. The auction shall commence at the published time without delay. Time, if I could turn back time. What is another indication of time? Oh, right there. Detailed information for each auctioned item can be found in the auctioneer's folders. The calculator on the desk is a morph? What calculator? I think we got the stapler here is what you're talking about, correct? Folders, and you get a folder, and you get a folder. To place a bid, simply raise your bidding paddle, which you can get here. You will also pay here after you've won any items. Good luck. I am gonna pay. How am I going to pay? Hey here. You're on vacay? Well, you better enjoy your vacay. No, no, don't leave. I'm not done yet. There we go. Jody has y yelled that out. You keep an eye on all those morphing objects for us, Jody. That would be great. I tried to click the coins, but you know how I am with hitboxes. Uh, terrible. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Geneva Auction House. Please be seated so we may begin. Our first item is the Golden Wheel, originating from South America. How did it get to Geneva? Seriously. 
Good thing I got here on time. The first item is the one we need. Hello, raise my bidding paddle. I think. Wait. Do I just... Oh, I see. I just have to dive in with my bidding paddle? Let's do this. The compass is on the chair. Oops. Let's start the bidding at $3,000. Do I oh. have 3000 Uh, I don't know. Can you? Yes, there you go. The gentleman in the front offers 3200 No, I can't do this math. There's too much math. Wait, the compass is on the chair. Really? I don't see Do I it. have 33? Working on it, working on it. I gotta do math here. Uh, these two, right? 15 and 18? Yeah! Is that it? Oh, I have to like... Wait. I'm not sure if I have to... Oh, I... I have to use three of them. I have to use three. Got it. Got it. Got it. Math the sir likes raises you. to 3,800. <gasps> Darn biddings. This is why I could never do eBay. I don't like competition for bids. <laughs> so what do we got? $3,800. So what do we got? Do I have 4,000? Whoa, dude. 4,000? I was just getting ready to put up numbers that were not even close to that. Huh. This is actually kind of neat. I kind of like this puzzle. So that would be... What would that be? That's 29 and I need 1100. Huh. Right? Right? 39. No, I need 100. Hmm. So what if I do 2,000? No, that's not going to do it. Uh, it's got to be 1,000 and 2,400. And then 600! Yay! Woohoo! <laughs> We're down to our last two bidders. The gentleman offers 4,300. That gentleman needs to get out! I don't like competing, darn gentlemen. Nobody likes you. Whew. Okay, so let's start Do big. Do you wish to bid higher, ma'am? Forty-five um, hundred. Course, of course, a horse, of course. I have a platinum card, so I need seventeen hundred, right? Thirty-eight. Yeah. No, I'm working on it. Relax. Oh, shoot. I'm way over. Um, hmm. 